So I'm here at Lunar Connect with um, Ricardo Salvetti, and he's on the uh, developer platform team, and he's going to tell us a bit about um, Unity 3D running on OpenGL ES. Yeah. So um, what we're trying to demonstrate demonstrate here today is uh, the work that we did uh, when porting uh, the Unity to work on GLES instead of GL. Uh, GLES is the is basically the OpenGL that we have available for for most of the ARM boards currently, and uh, we are demonstrating then on a Panda board is is uh, OMAP4 based as a dual core, uh, one gig uh, with GLES acceleration, fully supported by uh, the Linaro images. So uh, there was a lot of engineering work going on uh, behind the scene, uh, porting, for example, Compass, Nux, and all the software components that uh, that would be needed to make it the Unity fully work in our image. So if you can check the boards, uh, uh, you're going to see that it's basically the same experience that you have on a desktop. If you have, for example, GL acceleration supported, like for example, for any video, radio, or any other board that you have usually on your desktop. So what we're trying to bring in here is uh, to show the same, the, what we can do and what we can uh, give to the users. And that is basically the same experience that they had al already with their own machines but using an ARM board. Because as you can see, it's, uh, you don't, uh, it doesn't consume a lot of power. It's very powerful. So what we're trying to show here is that people could actually build products, build notebooks, on even other advanced platforms there on top of it and have a, a quite a good experience. And basically, with the same thing that we have already on the x86 world. So are there any um, cool things about the software you could walk us through? Or? Yep. yep. Uh, well. They're basically showing the same thing here. As, uh, as I'll get over here. They're basically showing the same thing here. Uh, here's the panel board. It's, it's like a full computer. Uh, you can see there's a booted by an SD card. There's Ethernet, HDMI, uh, DVI, and uh, and you just need a, a, a five volt power supply to boot it up. And uh, there's even a terminal here showing that it's a dual core, uh, currently one running in a, a one gig. So. Uh, what we try to do here is, let me just close it here. You can see that it's basically the same uh, Unity interface that you have on an x86, uh, running with uh, uh, any video or any other boards that you have available. And um, there's basically on that board you have a Unity 2D work. You can basically compare it. But um, here uh, it's fully accelerated, and so on. The driver is still not perfect. There's still a lot, of, a lot of work going on on the driver perspective to, to improve it, but it's, this is the first time that we get it like fully working, and now we can just optimize things and uh, uh, even work on reporting bugs against the driver and see, if, for example, if Texas Instruments can support us to improve it and to have even a better experience later on. And base, this is basically the default desktop that we have with Unity, so uh, we would be ready to, to demonstrate any other platform, uh, any other, for example, development on top of Unity. Uh, out of the box with uh, with the Ubuntu images that we build. This is basically uh, on top of Oneric. So we we we, uh, we did a, uh, a lot of work to, to make the uh, uh, the uh, Linear Ubuntu LED images available uh, on top of Oneric. So we just released this on last on uh, last Thursday, and you can just download on Linear website and just flash it uh, with one single tool and I think of one two commands. And you just booted the SD card and you have the whole desktop working out of the box without doing anything. And uh, even on the engineering level, the good thing is that we got most of the development already uh, merged upstream. So uh, we're going to start working even during this week to start uh, making those things available on the precise uh, branches. So we expect that during the precise cycle, we'll get the same thing fully supported by the Ubuntu kind of out of the box. So. We're, we did the support, and now we're trying to merge upstream and try to make that available in Ubuntu by default. So I was a bit confused. Um, the OpenGL, OpenGL ES support is already in the latest Lenar images that you can yes. download? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. We provide both the drivers and all the, the, the software that we ported to run against it. So um, we actually just uh, booted up the, the latest Lenaro desktop image on our, our Panda board. Yep. And, um, I noticed there was the install 3D drivers or whatever. Is, is that what you need to do to get this? On the Lenaro image, you don't need even to you don't need to download. You don't need to install anything during the download phase. 
Uh, what there's a tool specific that from Nanaro that you get a hardware package that we say is basically the the, the kernel bootloader and the drivers and etc. That is specific to a board. Okay. And then we get the root FS that is basically the Ubuntu desktop on top of Winery. And then there's a tool that merges both together and write on the SD card, and you get everything working out of the box. Okay. So you don't even you don't need to activate any PPA. You don't need to click it up and everything. You just install it, boot it up, and it's working. Okay. But that like that gear icon, uh, that, wasn't that something about a, a extra 3D driver or something? Or sorry, the the gear icon right there. Yep. Wasn't that something like an extra 3D driver? Or we started playing with this last night, so. I'm <laughs> yeah, there's, well, if you use the, 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 the Ubuntu image, you're going to see that there's an icon, a special icon that you can download uh, and install the 3D okay. acceleration okay. and so on. So, but, so we, but we don't know, we, don't, we use kind of a, in a different way, so that's why we, we're not using the same procedure. Okay. Okay. So. And as, and it, as you can see, for example, it, uh, you have Compass and you have the four desktops and uh, it's still there's some rendering issues still, but it's basically because of the driver that you need to improve the driver a little bit. But uh, you have most of the effects that you have on uh, your visual desktop. And so on. So that's basically nice. a part of the Unity. Nice. Uh, Matt can explain a little bit more about uh, the other demo. It's basically uh, showing a different board. It's an IMAX 53 from Freescale. And it's trying to demonstrate a full 8D video playing uh, with G-Streamer on Totten and etc. Nice. So.